Hi guys, so I've made myself a new A6 traveler's notebook as you can see the one on the left. So I'm going to try to set it up alongside with my Hobonichi Teko. So this one is my Hobonichi Teko and I've been planning in it for quite some time. But then I thought I want to try something new. So this week I'm going to use my Hobonichi Teko as a journal rather than a planner. And I've placed it. I've placed my Hobonichi Teko inside a fabric cover. You can buy this fabric cover in my uh, in my shop. So I'll leave the description link in the description down below. For my A6 planner, I have this monthly insert. Uh, all these inserts you can get in my shop, and it's also in the dis the link is also in the description box. So the first one is a monthly planner. Then after that, I have a uh, two days per page planner so I'm hoping this is big enough but I'll see I'll try for one week and see whether I like it so after that I also have my weekly planner so um, usually I either use weekly planner or a daily planner so I'm not sure how this is going to work but I'll try and I'll keep you updated if I have time I'll probably post you know uh, another update of this in like three days time or otherwise by next week I'll surely have an update and I'll tell you how I find this planner system okay so now uh, on to my Hobonichi as I said I'm going to use this as my journal okay so now in my Hobonichi Teko I'm just going to decorate my September cover page so I decided to use some watercolors to decorate my cover page uh, I'm not good with watercolors but I thought you know I'll just give it a try since I have the watercolors with me so then I just basically go on my phone and search uh, for some inspiration on Pinterest and then I decided to go with um, a yellow and orange theme because I thought the colors look bright and it's like it's like a happy week kind of feeling and I've been loving orange a lot lately. I'm not sure why. I've never really been a fan of orange in the first place. So yeah, I'm just using my brush to dab on some yellow, some orange and a little bit of reddish color at the end. Really, I am just so new with watercolor. I don't know what I'm doing. Then I use my Tombow to write down September just like a header but then I felt like it was too plain you know so I went back in and um, make the lines thicker actually I wanted to use my Tombow Fudonosuke the black color pen but for some reason I think I lost it I have to buy a new one then after that I'm just using my Unipin uh, 0 0.5 pen to outline the whole thing and then I use my Unipin 0 0.05 pen to you know create some shades at the side just to make it stand out a little more. I think if you want to use watercolors on your planner, you should try out the Unipin uh, pen because the ink doesn't smudge. It's like it's like for you to sketch and then after that you put your watercolors on top. So that's why I like the Unipin and whenever I use watercolors, I use the Unipin pen. Then after that, I'm just going in with my Tombow pens and just drawing some leaves and roses all around uh, because I thought that September looks like a sunshine and then after that, there's like leaf and roses coming out. Um, I'm not the most artistic person out there and I would say that I'm not good with arts. So all these are just very, very simple doodles. It doesn't look very nice, but uh, at least I'm satisfied, you know, because that's all I can do. So yeah, if you're not good at drawings, you can always use like sticker to spice it up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So as you can see, there's this anime girl kind of sticker. We sell them in our shop and this is drawn by my sister Nicole. She also has her plan with me videos on uh, our channel as well so you can check hers out. So uh, I have a few, I'm just deciding which girl to use. I wanted to use the, the first one which is like a black girl but then I thought you know this is a very flowery um, 
team so I thought I'll keep it to the flower tea flower girl so now on to the next step I'm decorating my traveler's notebook uh, planners so this one is my monthly planner so I just took out a um, hard cardboard yellow color and then I'm just gonna write like monthly and I'm gonna cut it out and paste it on the cover so if you have bought notebooks from our shops before we have lots of like different colored covers and usually it's like plain uh, we leave it plain because we, um, I personally like to decorate my uh, planner covers myself. So here's what I'm doing. So then uh, I'm just cutting it out, trying not to cut into the black lines, then seeing how it works. And honestly, I don't like how this one turned out, but I promise it gets better after a while. So here I'm after I write the word monthly, I want to write the word planner because it's my monthly planner. So I'm just deciding which color cardboard should I use. Uh, then I go with the coconut brown um, color. Then I write planner with my Unipin uh, pen. Actually, um, if I have my white color uh, gel pen, I would actually outline it because then the word planner would stand out more. But then my Uniball Signal white gel pen sort of like died on me, <laughs> so it's not working. That's why um, it looks kind of flat, but uh, no big deal if I buy my new uh, white pen, then I will just outline it with my white pen, then hopefully you stand out more because I really don't like how this cover page turned out. So now I'm using some washi tapes to decorate the back of the cover before I paste the girl anime sticker on top. If you're interested in our stickers, especially these girl anime stickers, um, it is on sale in our shop and we sell them in like bundles now. So let's say you can buy, uh, we reduce the price, the original price is around 3 USD but we reduce it to like 150 USD if you buy it in like bundles. Now I'll leave the uh, link in the description down below. So now I'm decorating my daily planner uh, cover. So I'm just going on to Pinterest and look for a nice quote. So for this particular cover, I thought I'll go with something more bright and florish. That's why I use those washi tapes. Since this is going to be my daily planner, I thought this quote would fit, uh, would fit it perfectly well. It says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So I'm just writing down uh, this quote and I'm trying to make it in that cute font that I see on Pinterest as well. But it didn't come out as I want it to. It's okay, I'm still learning. Take it step by step. So uh, after that, I just want to create this border around it. I sort of want to make it feel like, you know, it's like a paper that I tear out and stick on it. I think it didn't come out like how I want it to be, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm learning to embrace the imperfections now. Then after that, I'm going in with this alphabet stickers uh, that you can also get from our shop. So before I do that, I just want to paste down a background color so that uh, my intention was so that uh, this alphabet sticker stand out because it says my daily plan. So I want it to really stand out. But then I pick a washi tape that has the same color as the letter D. So yeah, the story of my life. Um, I think this day didn't go so perfectly well, but it's fine. I end up loving this planner spread quite a lot as well. So yeah, then after that I thought I just want to paste this cute cat emoji at the side because this is like one of my favorite sticker from our shop. Uh, then after that I'm putting this particular cat picture, a uh, cat sticker as well because I really like how it looks. Then I put a floral a girl anime uh, sticker on there. Moving on to my weekly planner cover page. Uh, the same thing, I wanted to use some pinky color, uh, a very colorful color, that, that was what I was aiming for. 
then I went down with an IKEA washi tape I had it for a long time it's just so cute that pink color big one yeah then after that I'm just sticking any washi tapes that I think the color would sort of fit into the theme and I just put it down um, this is my favorite favorite cover page so far but uh, it's the most tedious and the hardest to make and you will see why in a while so um, just taking out all these flamingos uh, washi tapes so after that I thought I want to put another coat on the cover so here I am again on Pinterest and trying to see which coat fits it the best then I saw a quote that says today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want then I thought yeah I will um, have that quote on my planner page and then I thought my writing is so ugly that I should use all these um, sticker alphabets to make my quote um, we wanted to sell this sticker alphabet it's the same as the big one just that it's it's tinier but then it takes a long long time to cut out this one sticker sheet like this whole sticker sheet it took it took us like 20 minutes to cut it uh, so it's really impossible to sell it uh, tell me if you like it down in the comment below and then uh, if you know a lot of people like it then well we can probably sell it now I really really like how cute and colorful this uh, cover page turned out but then it was so tedious to stick them one by one and halfway through i'm just thinking i should have just chosen like a shorter quote so if you are doing something the same like me um probably choose like a please smile or something you know just a shorter quote mine was too long and i was just sticking there like i think in real time it took me like 20 25 minutes to stick everything then uh, I have a tweezer so I thought you know uh, I'll just use this tweezer and try to uh, make sticking these small little alphabets easier but uh, no it wasn't because it was also hard to stick it with the tweezer I think because the alphabets are way too small so um, everything cute and tiny comes with a price at this stage i literally fast forward this clip by 20 times so that is how long it took me to stick those uh, words but you know if you are using the planner for a long time and you want a cute little cover it's worth it to spend such a long time on it then after that i put down a circle this is a 20 mm circle then i put down a coffee sticker on top then i thought i want to be a little styler uh, so I didn't paste the coffee right in the center of the circle you know just want to be artistic then after that I'm using uh, this bigger circle alphabets uh, these alphabets are actually written by Nicole which is my sister uh, and then she made it into stickers so I'm putting my wig there then after that I choose these uh, cute little unicorn stickers that we also sell in the shop and just paste it there so I thought in general that spread turned out really lovely and really colorful and that's my favorite one so after that I'm fitting this all into my new traveler's notebook uh, these three uh, booklets so here's how it looks like and this is the finished product thank you so much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.